Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Warriors All-Stars, where last time around we recruited Kasumi for our cause, and we had a little bit of a wander around the world map to see what was going on. So, today we're going to continue with that sort of thing. Um, we'll probably try and recruit at least one more person, and uh, see what else is going on, I guess. First thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to pop back to the uh, Sanctuary. And we're going to see how things are going with things like requests and upgrades and that sort of thing. So here we are at the Sanctuary. Uh, so first thing to do, I think we can chat to this guy. And that will zap us straight to headquarters to go and check on our requests. So we've completed this one for Rio. Um, which is to defeat more than 500 enemies during the Muso Rush. Were shining so brightly in that battle, supporting you gave everyone such energy. Here, take this. You can increase the hero's regard towards yourself through the following actions complete requests received from heroes in the sanctuary, select a good answer when asked a question by a hero in the sanctuary, help each other in the battle or impress other heroes with your actions, and use hero skills and Muso Rush in battles. Okay, so we've got a new card um, for Rio. Alright, so we got a request from Kasumi as well. I've been tracking the enemy. Looks like they're going to attack here next. We should act quickly. Thank you for this. I know I can count on you. Alright, so she's got a specific type of battle she wants us to clear five times. Um, our niece, we've got 58 of 100 materials not from Knights of Azure. And no progress on Chris's yet. Alright, so Rio's next request is to defeat more than 777 enemies during Muso Rush. Lucky sevens, presumably. What with her being gambling related. Thanks for your help. Can we try it again? I want to make everyone even happier. Sure, why not? Muso Rush is fun. Alright. So now... Uh, we chat to these guys. You're a ninja, Kasumi. Aren't you? you must have undergone some pretty tough training. I did, and still do. I've been going through it since I was a child, though, so I'm used to it by now. Since you were small, that's incredible. Ninjas are just so cool. Do you think you could train me? I'm not accustomed to fighting, and I can't help feeling that I'm holding everyone back. You're strong and lovely as you are, Rio. I promise. But that's not to say I won't help you train. I do it every day, anyway. Thank you, Kasumi. I'll do my very best. I'm going to become a card-carrying ninja, too. Yeah, bless. Uh, what was... Do you do? Ah, uh, train characters. Okay, so you can spend money on leveling them up. Uh, we'll leave that for now. As our niece isn't super ahead of them at this point. Alright, you can probably enhance some cards, though. Uh, not 100% sure on what's going on with these just yet. Let me just check who's got what equipped. And let's also add Kasumi to the team as well. Alright. Uh, we're still playing, without, playing as Arnis for the minute. We can always switch out to one of the other characters as the leader at some point. But I'm, I'm enjoying Arnis at the minute. So we'll stick with her for a little while. Um, and maybe switch out when we've got some more members. Okay, so who's got what equipped? So Arnis has currently got an Arnis card equipped. They've all got their own cards equipped, apart from Kasumi, who doesn't have any cards she can equip just yet. Alright. So. I'm having trouble kind of seeing which one is equipped now or can you not can you not enhance the one you've currently got equipped because if you look in this page here there seems to be a whole lot more options to choose from so Arnis has currently got a 23 plus 2 card equipped with about halfway affinity and the true warrior effect but if I go to enhance cards here that 
appears to be nowhere to be seen. Oh, that's because the enhanced cards is the one where you add the abilities to it, isn't it? Okay, so these are the only ones that have empty slots at the minute. Right, that makes sense. Okay, so what can we do with this one? We can add Lud plus two or Fire plus two to it. Still don't really know what these do. Um... So none of these have got any attributes on them at the minute. Well, let's try attaching some and see what happens. So we take this one, and if we attach... Um, let's attach some love to it, I guess. All right. And then for one of the others, let's take Chris here, and let's attach fire to it all right so that unease card that i've got equipped now has the love plus two and chris has fire plus two rio doesn't have anything because we don't really have any enough money to do that but we'll see if that makes a difference pop in the hot springs You must leave immediately. I do not like speaking in this voice. Don't come near me when I'm not wearing my mask. Yeah, these lines are fully voiced. I don't need to do those ones. <laughs> you have been kicked out of the bath. Well then. Right, let's go fight some dudes. Uh, uh, how do we do that? Like that. Right, Kasumi wanted to do some allied stronghold. You must secure an entry point for your allies and defend it before the enemy's main army arrives. Okay, well we haven't tried this type of mission yet, so let's give it a go. So, info screen. Oh, that's just our menu. Alright. Sure. Um, begin the battle, I guess. Defend the designated base and defeat all the enemies. Okay, so we've got some specific groups of enemies who are coming in to attack the bases. Might as well use our Muso Rush right away. See if we can get that 777 kills. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Going by past experience. Hey, Kasumi's come to join as well. Come on, just a few more. Ah, oh, there we go. Just achieved in the last minute. Beautiful. Lovely. Alright, let's go find some of these baddies who are attacking. I vaguely recognise this music. I'm not sure what it's from. Okay, there's one dude coming around to the east. Two dudes coming around to the east. There's Ryu Hayabusa as well. He needs taking down. The ninja strikes. The ultimate ninja! Let's 
Let's see how you stand up to the ultimate lesbian vampire demon. Yes. Use some of these. Good job, Rio. Ow. Okay, so Kasumi's ability adds the love attribute anyway. got a secondary target sneaking around here it looks like someone we should probably deal with there's Chris's ability increase ally defense we'll save that for when we're fighting a boss okay very nice Who's up here? Yukimura Sanada! Alright, let's get some buffs going. So, defense up from Chris. And see if Rio can do something useful this time. No! She could not. So, defense up and defense down. Wonderful! Come on, Anis! Demon them! Beautifully done. Next! Oh, it's Ayani. Looking saucy. Very nice. Okay, next dude should be this one who's trying to sneak through the middle from the look of things. So the love effect seems to sort of actually produce those heart-shaped sparkles from your hits. I'm not entirely sure what that means as yet, but uh, I'm sure... Can you die? Oh, maybe, maybe it charms them. Because their health bar was um, sort of glowing with hearts at that point. Maybe like the higher your love um, attribute is, the more likely you are to successfully charm them, perhaps? capture that base that should make things a little bit safer around here oh chappy's on the move across the middle we should be able to catch up with him though Oh, Shiki. Uh, 
Right, come on, Rio, make yourself useful for once. Win! Hooray! Attack up. Ooh, attack up by quite a lot. <laughs> the amount of damage we did to Chiki. That really hurt, whatever he just did. But he's down! Very nice. Alright, victory! Okay, so as you can hopefully see by now, this game sort of combines um, shorter battles like that one, where there's quite a specific thing you need to achieve, um, with the, the slightly more in-depth plot-related battles that include the ones where you unlock other characters, and ones where you progress the main story. So I think what we might aim to do on this series is maybe do one of the smaller battles in a session and one of the longer battles. Um, and then I might do a bit off screen as well because there's clearly a lot to do in this game. Um, and it's probably going to be worth doing a lot of it as well to unlock things and level up and get new items and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I'll probably make some time to play this off camera uh, just so we're not progressing too painfully slowly through the whole thing. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. And we got some Kasumi cards now. Yeah. Confidant with Chris. Okay, so level 5 is the highest. Christopher's level of regard is towards you has reached the highest level. Perhaps you can expect a different reaction when you happen to meet them in the hot springs. You never know. Sorry, I seem to have hiccups. Right, um, so, um, let's go and unlock another character, because I don't really want to progress the story until um, we've unlocked all these possible characters. Oh, okay. So stuff happens as you wander around from the look of things. Alright, well we got Kasumi, so let's go and find um What's her name? I've forgotten her. Hitomi? No. Yes? I can't remember. No, it's not Hitomi, is it? Or is it? There are monsters everywhere. Where's this hero? Let's clean him out and begin the search. Her name is just completely falling out of my head for some reason. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, she's not on the map even, so. Okay, well. Let's do it. Oh, awesome. I love that a lot of the sort of grunts in this game are drawn from uh, the different games. So like the toy soldiers in this are from uh, Knights of Azure because you, you can see Arnie summoning them as well. Summoning them. And the things that look a bit like Dragon Quest slimes, those are punies from the Atelier series. So yeah, we're not just fighting humanoid enemies, we're not just fighting the fairies all the time. I rush with some punies. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. Watch this.
Should have probably gone and turned in that Rio request before I did this again, shouldn't I? And never mind. Lovely. Right. Hanukkah! No, Hitomi. Hitomi is the, um, karate girl. You should be scared, Hanukkah. But it's okay. Ow. Oh, Rio, you suck. She'll be back, I'm sure. Defeat Yukimura Senator, you say? I can do that. Admiral Pooney. Another base taken for the cause. Oh, Senator's is getting away. Ow. Hi. Oh, it's Admiral Pooney, not Senator. Senator is still where we left him. Nicely done. Can't remember who plays Hanukkah, but it's quite a distinctive voice. I know that Hitomi, the one who I was getting confused with, I believe, if I remember rightly, is played by Yui Hori, uh, who I remember because it's the voice of Nepgear, and Nepgear is a character I like very much indeed, so. Oh, that increased attack speed from Kasumi's ability is really nice, actually. Yeah, that's really nice. You sort of get a real rush on the enemies. Lovely. All right. Come on, Rio. Much better.
You know, this base is taking some beating, isn't it? Nice. Another find capture. Oh, now Tora E didn't stand a chance, there, did she? Well, this is probably my most ridiculous Musou rush yet. And a big finish. Lovely. Nicely done. Alright, come on, Shiki. Ouch. <laughs> She's cute but incredibly strong. I'm coming for you, Hanukkah. He's in my way, so let's... Demon Blast! You're right, Honoko. Well, you just did, so... We're going to recruit you, and then you're going to fight for us, and we're all going to have a lovely time in the hot springs together. Well, that went well. Good stuff. There's nothing to worry about. I am Setsuna. I'm here to see you, actually. Brave hero, please. Lend me your power in order to save this world. Save the world? I don't really understand all this, but I really just want to get back home quickly. My grandma must be so worried. And I left Mr. Moo behind as well. Sorry, I can't send you back right at the moment. But once the world is saved, I promise to send you back. Please, help me achieve that. Hmm. Okay, I'll help you. That's enough, was it? I'm Honoka. Nice to meet you. <laughs> me too. I'm so happy to meet such a strong and lovely hero. I'm curious about Honoka. She reminds me of someone I fought before. Perhaps staying close to her will give me a chance to find out the truth. SSS! Triple S! Nice to down, Alice. Good work, everybody. Ooh, lightning card. Fabulous. Alright, some good progress made today. So, I guess for now, the new companions, Hanukkah, she's a sweet, sweet young girl, raised by her kindly grandmother. She enjoys watching fights and is overcome with inexplicable urges whenever she sees one. For some ability, he has the ability to instantly learn any fighting moves she sees. But she keeps it a secret from others. Alright, good stuff. We'll leave that there for now. So, I'll just say, as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese inspired video games, new and old, every weekday. Every month, Moegamer features an in depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game, so be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.